Hello my friends, now for Taro, the Rebel Turner, and today I'm going to make one of the pieces from the drawing that I made up. I was actually looking for a blank to do this one, but uh, I don't have anything that's big enough or thick enough at the moment. So what I'm going to do is make this floating disc vase. Just got a blank over here. I believe it's to be Sapili. So let's get started. Blank is a pretty good size. Maybe uh, 10, 11 inches diameter and about two inches nine and a half inches diameter and uh, two and a half inches thick it's funny I've had this uh, little jig that I made up a while ago nothing special about it but Either way, I just made it up out of a piece of wood, cut a 90 on it, and made a groove right alongside the edge to get me a center finder. And there it is. So you'll have a little variance if you're not perfectly square, but that's my center right there of this particular piece. So, but uh, like I was saying, the funny thing is that I did this quite a while ago and uh, the other day I noticed somebody posted a video on how to make one of those so if you want to know how to make it go watch it but this is pretty dry stuff this is definitely not going to cut like the black walnut And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, flip this over and make one the same size on the other side. And then when I get back over here, I'll refine this. But I'll make one the same size and that way I can make a plug for both ends. So, actually use the tenon on it.
I'll leave it where I can uh, use compression or expansion. It's time to uh, create some sort of a foot on this because I need to hollow this out from inside. Now here's the pits on both halves and this will stand something like this in the uh, once all said and done in its stand. So I'm checking the gap that I got between my tail stock, my uh, tool rest, and the piece. And right there, that is telling me that that's centered this way. So a little bit of pressure. This will be the bottom. I'm going to start making a tenon right over there. Because I need a tenon to be able to uh, put it back here and hold it up for me. And then I will still work the sides. Well, actually, once I get the tenon, flip it over, hollow up the inside uh, to uh, the way I want it. Once it's hollowed up, then I will true it up from the sides and get to the shape that I want and the tenon shape over here because I want this to be completely round on the bottom. Uh, will most likely disappear. I'm going to use my diamond diamond tool because it does a nice job creating a tenon point. So the tenon right now is going to grab both sides and not necessarily too much on this outside edge but it's by very little so I feel <clears throat> if you don't feel safe doing something like this then by all means this is the method that I'm using and not necessarily the way that it should be done as we all know my videos are for entertainment and for you to develop your own skills on how you want things done. I was off the center on there. I don't know how I missed that, but I was. But no big deal because at this point, but that went right into the center. At this point, all I'm looking for is to uh, get it hollowed out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to start working on the stand. So the stand is this is going to be the base and I'm just going to follow up this line more or less. Shape it up probably on my uh, disc sander to make it to taper it to make it skinnier towards the top. Leave the base uh, uh, thick for weight and send it up finish it and install the pegs into it that will hold the disc face in place. So this is not the best blade to do this type of work, but
glad I came back outside to finish this up. I was considering wrapping this up next week. But I gotta tell you, definitely not an easy piece. I had my battles with it. Uh, starting all the way from base, drilling, making it as a one piece. And then I realized that uh, the one piece was just not working for me. Um, it was too front heavy, so the thing wanted to tilt over. So the choice was to either to put a lead weight on the back of it or cut it off as I did and uh, glue it and screw it. So right now it is balanced. The piece is um, the main body, Sepili, I think. I will correct it on the uh, description. The uh, centerpiece is I'm not sure what no. the rest of the uh, the piece is. This is it. The floating disc face. The detail in the center. The, uh, the lines. They're not bad. The finish is uh, lacquer. Um, quite a bit of lacquer and a lot of sanding in between. Uh, uh, what else can I say? It's a fish. <laughs> Well, we'll see you again next time. Let me go inside. I'm anxious to go inside, take some pictures, post it on Facebook, which I always do first, and then edit the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hanging around. And don't forget, thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Take care.